A very good evening viewers. Today we'll be testing the cation ions cation analysis for group 5. The cations of group 5 are barium, strontium and calcium and none of them is a colored salt. This would only be applicable to white salts. Secondly, in the absence of sulfate and phosphate in anions. With sulfate and phosphate, you would never be given group 5 as these salts of sulfates and phosphates of barium, strontium and calcium are insoluble. Hence, to begin with, you would start with the OS, the original solution, that is a pinch of salt, add 1 to 2 ml water, shake it to get a clear solution. To the OS, you need to add ammonium chloride solid, pinch, shake it to dissolve, which is what you normally forget. Secondly, add ammonium hydroxide aqueous to make the medium basic. At this point, you can divide the solution into two. To one part, add H2S gas, pass it through the solution in case you get a PPT. The PPT options as you know would be black for cobalt and nickel, buff for manganese and dirty white for zinc which means you need to proceed for group 4. But right now since we are doing group 5 I will go to the other half of it. In the other half you can add ammonium carbonate solution. On addition of ammonium carbonate solution, if you get a PPT, white PPT, that is indicative of group 5. And if on adding ammonium carbonate you get no PPT, then we will deal with it a little later. Once you get a group 5 white PPT, by the color of the PPT, you cannot identify barium, strontium and calcium since all the three will give you a white PPT. The PPTs are of barium carbonate or strontium carbonate or calcium carbonate, whatever it is, add acetic acid to it and shake. The PPT will dissolve. Once the PPT dissolve, divide the solution into three parts. On dividing the solution to the three parts, I am numbering them as 1, 2 and 3 because you have to follow this in the same order. To the first part, add K2CrO4 aqueous solution which is a yellow colored solution. You will end up in a yellow PPT which is barium chromate. If you get this, please don't proceed in group the second and the third part. You end here. That confirms barium ions and that's it. If, the, if you don't get this, then you proceed for the second part. In the second part, you need to add ammonium sulfate solution. Wait for some time. Shake the solution a bit. It takes around 5 minutes for this PPT to come and you would get again a white PPT this time but the PPT would be of strontium sulfate and you confirm strontium. If this happens, fine. If you don't get this, then you move on to the third part. Once you enter the third part of the solution, to this solution, you need to add ammonium oxalate. Now before I move to the formula, oxalate ion is from oxalic acid, which is this. So the oxalate ions are these. Hence, the formula for ammonium oxalate is going to be C2O4 2 minus. So the valency interchange, you get ammonium oxalate aqueous solution into the third part you will end up in 
white PPT this time, which will be of calcium oxalate and you confirm calcium. You may proceed for the flame test at this end, which I will do after dealing with this no PPT solution. While testing for group 5, after addition of ammonium chloride solid, ammonium hydroxide, in case you move ahead to ammonium carbonate, you end up in a PPT, that's group 5. But even after adding ammonium carbonate, you don't get a PPT, that means it's not group 5. Then in that case, there is an indication of group 6. In group 6, you have only one cation magnesium. Hence, to this solution, you need to add sodium dihydrogen phosphate solution leading to the formation of a white PPT of magnesium, ammonium phosphate and confirmatory test for magnesium ions which is group 6. So virtually we have done cation analysis of group 5 and group 6 both together. We are left out with the flame test for which group 5. The flame test has a specific way to proceed. The flame test is performed only for group 5. You need a pinch of salt plus concentrated HCl to make a paste of it. And then you may either use platinum wire or use a clean glass rod and introduce it to the flame. If the flame is apple green, that indicates barium ions confirmation. If it is crimson red, that is pinkish red, indicates strontium ions. And if it is brick red, that indicates calcium ions. There's a slight confusion here. Crimson red is pinkish red, brick red is orangish red. With this, we end salt analysis, the cation analysis to be specific. Thank you.